Lord, uh, for giving us this wonderful day. And I'm sure lahat tayo dito na bless. I mean, the message of the Lord is so powerful. Kasi kung makikita mo kanina, we are overflowing with blessings. We are, uh, the presence of our Lord is here with us today. So, tiyan ko si Pastor kanina, si Pastor Marlon, kung ilang oras pa pwede magsalita. Pwede daw dalawang oras. At, amen. So, within 45 minutes, um, we'll do our best to share the Word of God. So, uh, sa umaga pong ito, ayaan niyo pong uh, uh, ipagpatuloy natin yung uh, mensahe yung presensya ng ating Panginoon sa, sa bawat isa. So our Bible, our verse today is in Isaiah 60, uh, chapter 60, verse 22. So, <coughs> amen. So, um, next slide po. Yeah. Sabi sa Isaiah 60, 22, the smallest family will become a thousand people and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. Amen. At the right time, very important, at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. And this is the declaration for this church. And it is my first time na naimbitahan ni Pastor Marlon dito. And the Lord has given me, so iniisip ko, Lord, ano kaya ang gusto ng mensahe sa umaga ng ito? And the Lord has given us this message. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Diba napakaganda ng pangako ng ating Panginoon. Sinasabi niya, pag tama na ang Panginoon, ako, ang iyong Diyos, will make it happen. So, tingnan muna natin, pasadaan muna natin ng konti. Sino ba si Isaiah? Ayan. Yeah. So, next po. So, si Isaiah prophesied from 739 to 681 BC to a nation that had turned deaf ear to the Lord. So instead of serving Him with humility and offering love to their neighbors, the nation of Judah offered meaningless sacrifices. So kung titignan yung buong book ng Isaiah, it's from chapter 1 to, next slide po, it's from chapter 1 to 66. So dadaanan ko lang saglit para may context tayo kung sino sa Isaiah. So yung chapter 1 to 39 talks about the message of judgment. No? Ito yung katiwalian at that time. And dito, sinasabi na at the full essence of the verse, sinasabi na there is a new Jerusalem no, that is coming. There is a new hope. And in, in chapter 40 to 66, dito pinakita na ng Panginoon yung servant ng Panginoon, no, yung new living hope that will be coming. Dito, magkakaroon ng dalawang klase ng tao, the, the, the seed of the wicked at saka yung magre-repent. At dito, makikita na natin yung vision ng Panginoon. And our verse is exactly in the second part of Isaiah. It's in chapter 60, verse 22. Amen. Let's move on. So verse po nito, I'd like to focus dito sa sinabi ng Panginoon. At the right time. Amen. Amen po ba? Amen. So very powerful, very promising yung sabi ng Panginoon. At the right time. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng at the right time? Shall I wait for the Lord? To make the time right? Maghihintay ba ako dito at magsasabihin ko, Yes, Lord, panahon na siguro. Ang tagal ko man nagsiservi, 20 years na. Hindi, Lord, 35 years na ako in the service. Eh. Maybe it's the right time. But the, at the right time here, we'll have a deep dive doon sa verse na sinasabi ng Panginoon na, At the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. At the right time here calls for action. Sa ating lahat, may encouragement. Panginoon. May sinasabi ang Panginoon sa ating lahat. So, sa next verse, let us look at what happened with, anong sinasabi ng Panginoon. The first calling of our Lord to make that at the right time is repentance. Ano po? At dito, walang excuse. Lahat tayo nagkakasala. Lahat tayo we fall short of the glory of God. Look at the story of David. ba? Si David, sabi nila sa Bible, has the heart of God. No? He was molded sa puso ng Panginoon. And yet, nagkasala pa rin si David. Anong pagkakasala ni David? Adultery. Di ba, one time, relax na relax si David. Paglabas niya, may nakita siyang magandang babae. 
Nag-distract siya si Betsyeba. Nabuntis pa nga niya. Hindi tayo nagmamarites. Ano po? Nabuntis pa niya. At para matagtakpan yung kasalanan niya, yung asawa ni Betsyeba, si Uriah, pinadala niya sa batin. At sabi niya, sige, sabi niya sa general niya, iuna mo na yan si Uriah kasi kailangan. Although at that time, may revelation na sa kanya. Na huwag ka nalalaban because at that time, you will lose. Pero anong heart ni David? Pinadala na si Uriah. Frontliner. Kaya unang laban pa lang, patay si Uriah. So nagkasala si David. But alam niyo kung bakit gustong gusto ng Panginoon si David? Dahil nag-repent siya, humihingi siya ng tawad sa ating Panginoon. So tayo, to unlock that perfect time, we should always have the mindset of asking forgiveness sa ating Panginoon. Because our Lord loves a humble heart. Amen. Amen. You know, a heart of flesh and not a heart of stone. Amen. Next, sabi natin in Romans 8.25, But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. So, see you sa Bible, characters are very famous with patience. Look at the story of Job. Right? He has everything. In fact, in the early years, Job is the wealthiest man in the world. Arguably, the most powerful and most influential at that time. But God has taken everything from him. Nagreklamo ba si Job? Hindi. Sinabi ba niya sa Panginoon, Lord, I'm a faithful and diligent servant. Why are you doing this to me? No. Nagpadala ang Panginoon, nagpadala, nakakilala pa ni Job yung kanyang tatlong kaibigan. Sinabihan pa siya, walang nakatulong. But Job was very patient. You know why? Ano sabi ni Job? Naked that I come here, and naked that I will live. Ang sabi pa lang nga sa simula pa lang, Alam niya that I have to be patient with our Lord because He knows our God has a perfect plan for Him. And what happened to Job? After that, naging pasensyoso sa whatever na meron si Job, binulti tayo ng Panginoon to infinite times. No? Mas madami, mas siksik, mas ligli. So ganun kabuti ang ating Panginoon. Sector, Sabi ng Panginoon, at the right time, sabi niya in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Ano po bang ibig sabihin ng submission? Submission means lifting everything to our God. Saying to our Lord, Lord, you are in full control. Lord, you are the driver. I am the passenger. Lord, whatever your plan is, I will follow. Lord, whatever you will give me, I will be happy. I will be grateful. And sino dito, sa Bible characters ulit, I'm very famous for trusting the Lord. Look at the story of Abraham. Diba? As a parent, he has waited 90 years, no? 90 years, just to have his act. One time, sinabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, kailangan mo nang i-offer si Isaac. And on the way, sa pag-offer niya, ano ang sabi ni Isaac sa kanya? Dad! Nasaan ba yung offer natin? Wala tayong dala. Mapapahiya tayo kay Lord. Hindi masabi ni Isaac even at the very last moment. Because he was trusting the Lord. He knows the plan of the Lord. He has waited for the Lord for so many years. Nung una nga, hindi siya nakapaghintay, di ba? Kaya, nagkaroon siya ng pagkakataon to have a moment, hindi ka na, sa kanyang pangkibay. At kaya nandiyan si Ismael. But if he has waited, wala si Ismael. Si Isaac lang ang meron. But because hindi siya nakapaghintay, so dahil walang trusting, complete trust from the Lord, if we do not completely trust our Lord, disaster happens. But at this very moment, Abraham has learned to trust our Lord. Buo. So napakasakit nun sa isang ama 
na tinatanong ka ng anak mo, hindi mo masabi kung sino ba ang offering. And at that time, you know, it was him. But he never uttered any single word because he has complete trust from the Lord. Amen. So, first, repentance. Amen. Second, ano po? Patience. Yes. Third is trust in the Lord. We are at the right time. No? Amen. Fourth is, but God sent me ahead of you to preserve For you are not not on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Familiar po kayo sa istorya? This is one of my favorite story in the Bible. The story ni Joseph the Dreamer. Diba? If you're very familiar, si Joseph, naingit yung mga kapatid niya, kinakon siya sa Egypt, ibinenta siya doon. Nung ibinenta siya doon, he was 17 years old and it took him 13 years to become the governor, the vice governor of Egypt. So what is that? What is God telling here, telling us in this verse that our God will deliver us Amen. from everything, for at every situation that you have right now, kahit ano pa man yung pinagdadaanan mo, our God will deliver you. Bakit? Alam ng Panginoon kung ano plano niya para sa ating lahat. Amen. Amen. So dito ba ay kita natin hindi nila maintindihan at that time kung bakit nangyari kay Joseph yun. And si Joseph, according to the Bible, holds about 50%. Ang tanggala, very smart, intelligent, very composed, very honest. But kung titingnan natin yung buong story niya, palaging nagpapadala ang Panginoon kay Joseph ng ano? Ang blessing. Diba? Palaging may taong ginagamit ang Panginoon to bless him. And that is the declaration of our Lord. Wherever you are, as long as you are with our God, there will always be someone who will be a blessing to you. Amen. And this is why the encouragement of the Lord is that you also continuously become a blessing. Kasi sabi ng Panginoon, He who blesses others will be blessed. And He who refreshes others will be refreshed. Amen. So, at the right time, All these things will happen to us. Amen? So, we just have to develop the character of always being submissive to our Lord, trusting our Lord, being patient with our Lord, and at the same time, having what? Complete faith. Kasi ito alam na ni, jo- alam na ni Joseph eh. Grabe yung tiwala ni Joseph sa ating Panginoon kasi isipin niyo pinakulong siya nung wala naman siyang ginagawa at ang nangyari doon is sa dami na nangyari sa buhay niya never niya pinwestiyon ng ating Panginoon never niyang sinabi na Lord okay naman ako bakit naman ako nandito nung sa kulungan nung una pinatapon mo ako ngayon dinala mo ako sa kulungan nang nang naginip na interpret ko yung dreams nasabi ko doon sa kapirat nakalimutan naman ako never siya nag-complain because bakit? He always look up to Jesus. He always look up to our Lord. Kasi alam niya, pag sa tao siya nag-expect, ano mangyayari? Disappointment. Sa isang relasyon, heartbreak. Masasaktan ka. Kaya nga, di ba, pag nag-pray tayo mga Christians for someone that we truly love, we pray for our partner. No? We lay our hands and say, Lord, let you be in the center of this relationship. Be in the center of our lives. Because ang isang relasyon na build sa paniniwala at sa pagmamahal ng Panginoon, kahit kailan, hindi maghihiwala. Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. And we are all blessed. Because God has given us yung blueprint. Sabi nga nila, di ba yung Bible is the basic instruction before leaving earth. And this is a very basic blueprint na sinasabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Amen! So, natapos natin yung part na at the right time. Okay, kung pastor, ang tagal lang na, meron ka pang, ay the Lord will happen, will make it happen. Anyway, praise the Lord. Amen! Ay the Lord. Ito, napaka-importante po para sa ating lahat. Ha, pastor, meron ka ang issue. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi narin ba? May to be before. Yeah. Commercial break ng konti. Amen. Kasi na po kayo. I really wanted to um, suit up for our Lord because every time that we have an opportunity to serve with our Lord, we mean business. So 
So we always count our church in our best way. Kasi alam natin para sa Panginoon to. If I can go to my office wearing very formal clothes, how much more kung para sa Panginoon? Yes. Amen. And that's the beauty of serving our Lord. Because later on, may revelation ng Panginoon. I, the Lord. So sino ba ang karelasyon natin dito? Sino ba ang gagawa ng mga bagay nito? So sino ang Panginoon? First verse. Sabi natin, I am the Lord who heals you. Our Jehovah Rapa. Sinabi ni Pastor kanina, continuation ng revelation. So whatever pain, sicknesses na meron tayo, sinasabi na ng Panginoon in Exodus 15.26, sabi ng Panginoon, the Lord said, if you are careful to obey the Lord your God, do what God thinks is right. Pay attention to His commandments and keep all His regulations. Then I will bring on you any of the diseases that I have brought to the Egyptians. I, the Lord, will make it. I, the Lord, will heal you. So sinabi na natin, alam na natin ang karakter ng Panginoon. Ang isang persona ng Panginoon, He is our Jehovah Rapa. He is the one who heals. So kahit paano karamdaman natin, kahit paano iniisip natin, we have an assurance that the Lord, our God, will heal us. So, gagamit siya ng mga, mga, mga ibang magagaling na doktor, if in case. But at more, the more important thing, we know that our God heals. Amen. Our Jehovah Rapa. Second, the Lord in Exodus 14.14. 14, this is a favorite verse today. Mas ko, ang dami mo namang verse na favorite. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? In Exodus, makikita nyo, ito yung paalis na yung mga, ano, no? mga skylights. No? Going to the, tatawid na sila dito. The Lord will fight for you. Amen. Sabi ng Panginoon, you need only to be what? Still. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng still? Manatili. Manatili. No? Ang ibig sabihin din dito ng still, hindi to be stagnant. The still here means we need to focus our eyes to Jesus. That's the meaning of being still. Because here the Lord is telling us, he is your Jehovah Nisi. Your banner. The one who will fight for you. Kasi maraming challenges sa buhay. Isang e talagang, you're doing your very best and yet, hindi mo makita ang solusyon. So, anong gagawin natin? Read the verse of Exodus 14, 14. You will find the answer from our Lord. You only need to be still. So, that means complete reliance fully sa ating Panginoon because your God is your Jehovah Nisi. The banner. And alam natin, pag ang Panginoon ang namunguna sa battlefield, there will always be victory. Umulan o umaraw, gabi o liwanag, ano bang hamon ng buhay natin. At sa dami ng pangako na pinitawan dito sa mundong ito, ang Diyos lamang ang nakatupad ng Amen. 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 Woo! Thank you, Lord. Napakaganda ng mensahe mo. Amen. Philippians 4.19 But my God shall supply all your need. He is what? Our Jehovah? Jehovah. Diba? Dito pa lang malalaman mo na kung talagang alam mo kung sino ang karelasyon mo, hindi mo kailangan mangamba. So kung ano man ang pinagdadaan mo ngayon, alam mo that God will provide all your needs. At hindi lang yan, according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus Christ. And take note, ang Panginoon, pag nagbigay ng biyaya na 60 pilipilig at umapag, hindi ka niya pahihirapan. That's biblical. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, when I give you the riches, I will not prepare, have prep, I will not oil difficulties. Wala siyang kasama. And alam niya na pag binigyan ka ng biyaya, there will be sustenance. Isusustain ng Panginoon. Hindi niya ibibigay sa tax kukuhanin niya. No. When our heart is ready, when we know that in our priorities, our Lord is our number one. Tulad ng sinabi, kinakanta natin kanina, the Lord will always sustain that. And our Lord is a Lord that always progresses everything. Progressive ang Panginoon. Pag binigay niya sa iyo ngayon, if I can trust you with one real, I can trust you with one thousand. I can trust you with one million. Ganyan gabuti ang Panginoon. But the only question is, 
Are we ready? Is our heart ready? Iyan ang sinasabi ng Panginoon. Eh, pagpatuloy po natin. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? I am the Alpha and the Omega. Our God is what? El Olam. Ako ang simula at pagpatapusan. At lahat ng mangyayari sa buhay natin, alam na ng Panginoon. Nasa tiyan pa lang tayo ng ating mga magulang, alam na ng Panginoon kung ano ang plano niya. He is our El Olam. Amen. Let us continue. So ito, dinidik dinidetermine natin kung sino ang ating Panginoon. I, the Lord, natin tayo sa verse na yun. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever in Psalm 23.6. Our Lord is our what? Our El Shaddai. Diba? Eh, Panginoon, napaka, napakarami pa lang pagkakataon para maging close ako sa iyo. Maybe at this point in time, I have some issues financially. Then I know that my God will supply my needs. Maybe at this time, I am I'm feeling something. Then I know that my God will heal me. Then maybe this time, meron akong pinaglalabanan. Then I know my God will fight for me. In Exodus 14.14. So napakadami pala. Ang sabi naman dito, He is our El Shaddai. And He is what? More than lampas pa sa kinakailangan natin. Our Lord is more than enough. Amen. So, kung pangahawakan natin yun, we know we can always sleep well and tight at night because we know our God is more than enough. And the blessings that our God will always give us, it will be overflowing. Amen. Let us continue. Come to me, sabi niya in Matthew 11:28 to 20. Okay? All you are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. So we know that what our God is what? He's the God of peace. Shalom. Di ba? Kasi ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. So lahat ng kapahingahan ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. If we may continue, ano sabi pa ng Panginoon? Amen. Next po. In Genesis 18:18, Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation, and all nations on earth will be blessed through him. Alam natin ang Panginoon natin is omniscient. Alam niyo eh, kung ano mangyayari sa simula pa lamang. Kaya mga kapatid, ang blessings, dinikilir pa sa panahon pa ni Abraham. Sinabi na dito, and all the nations on earth will be blessed through him. So we know that there will always be blessings for everyone. But when do you really say you are blessed? Yun ang tanong kasi ni Pastor. Kung meron ako dati, naalala ko, we give something, hashtag blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord. But when do you really say you are blessed? You are blessed kapag yun na ibigay sa atin ang pagkakataon or opportunity ng Panginoon has been used to glorify His name. That's the only way to say that was or that is a blessing. Amen. Let us continue. In Psalm 139, 1-6, You have searched me, O Lord. Diba? And you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going up and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Amen. Di po ba? Ang Panginoon natin is omnipotent. Di ba? Alam natin how powerful our God is. And lastly, alam natin ang Panginoon natin is always present. Lagi natin siyang kasama sa anumang panahon. Ang sabi dun sa ating verse, sa ating next verse, Before a word is on my tongue, you Lord know it completely. Alam na ng Panginoon, hindi pa natin sinasabi. So, sa dami ng sinabi sa atin na verse ng ating Panginoon, we can completely say kung gaano abuti ang ating Panginoon. Ang gagawin na lang natin is sa anumang hamon ng ating buhay, uhugot na lang ako dito sa isang verse na sinabi ngayong araw. Pangahawakan ko yun. So napaka-importante po ng mga kapatid that we have our own life verse. Ako ang life verse ko sasabihin ko sa inyo. Amen. Today. Next, ano po ang sabi? For the Lord of hosts has purposed it and it will annul it. 
His hands is stretched out and who will turn it back? Ganyan ka powerful ang ating Panginoon. When our God says yes, no one can say no. He cancels every no of any human being. When God opens one door, no man can close it. But any door that has been closed by a man can be opened by God. Any time. We just need to have complete reliance <coughs> sa ating Panginoon. Any time. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? When the time is right. When your heart is ready. When you are willing to serve. When you are willing to obey. Amen. Amen. Let us continue. So, ano ba ang gagawin ng Panginoon when the time is right? Yan. So, eksakto. Nandito na tayo sa mismong revelation ng ating Panginoon. I, the Lord, will make it happen. And this is my life verse. In Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you. It declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you a living hope. Hindi lang hope. It's a living hope. Because this is our Lord Jesus Christ. And a bright future. Hindi ba napakaganda ng pangako ng Panginoon? Ganun pala ang sabi ng Panginoon. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Eh, ang tanong, Pastor, ang, pang, ang, ang Panginoon ba tagay sa kanyang salita? Hmm. Ang Panginoon, pag nagsabi niya, pag nasinabi niya, hindi niya ito ahayaan na hindi mangyari. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, For I know the plans I have for you. So, how do we unlock it? Paano ba maa-unlock yan, Pastor? Ano ba dapat natin gawin? My recommendation, a revelation ng ating Panginoon, is to adopt the SOS mindset. What is SOS? Sabi nila, save our souls. Ito ba? Pag yung mga emergency. But SOS, sasaglihan natin. Anong sabi ng SOS? Seek, obey, obey, obey and serve. And serve. Okay. Let's start first with seek. Anong sabi? Matthew 6.33 But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. So, Amen! Kung may pagkakataon, paggising pa lang sa umaga, Lord, maraming salamat sa opportunity sa umaga nito. Lord, maraming salamat sa pagkakataon na makapag-serve sa iyo. Maraming salamat, ginising mo ako sa umaga. Maraming salamat sa buhay na binigay mo sa akin. Maraming salamat sa lahat. In everything, give thanks to our God. Ano man ang sitwasyon ng buhay natin. Seek first His kingdom. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will have its own anxieties. So, bukas na ba kayo mangyayari? You don't have to worry for that. Datawa yung wrinkles natin niya. Diba? Sabihin natin sa sarili natin, whatever your worry is, whatever your problem is, I have a bigger God. And my God will always provide me a solution sa kung ano man ang pinagdadaan. So that is sick. Second, obey. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord will make you the head if we obey. In Deuteronomy 28.13, Not the day. You pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them. You will always be at the top. Never at the bottom. You will always be ahead. And never a tail. You will always be the lender. Never the borrower. Ayan ang pagkanda ng salita ng Panginoon. So, sino gusto na ganon? 
Amen. 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 We claim it. Diba sinasabi natin, Yes, Lord. Make me one. Yes, Lord. I am ready. Yes, Lord. I am willing. But pay attention to His commandments. Obey. Yung sabi ng Panginoon. Amen. Sir, kung maaalala natin, ito sa Joshua, sinabi ng, tinatanong ni Joshua, yung, kung naaalala nyo, di ba, yung 12 tribes, yan, yung sinakop na nila, yung papunta na sa promised land. At kung maaalala nyo yung story ni Joshua, at saka ni Caleb, meron labing dalawang spies na pinalala doon para sa promised land. At yung sampo, ang gusto nila ay, ako, mga higante na doon, hindi natin kakayanin. Pero si Joshua at si Caleb, sila lang ang nag-report ng positive na may pagkakataon, na may opportunity. Bakit? Anong, anong mindset ni, ni Joshua? Ang, ang mindset palagi ni Joshua is about serving our Lord. And serving our Lord is always a choice. No? Yung pagsilpin natin sa ating Panginoon, it's always a mindset. Because ang Panginoon, hindi naman siya namimilit eh. If you want to come to the church and serve, the Lord will be very blessed. And that's always the mindset. We always say, God bless you. How about blessing God? Lord, maraming salamat. Kapag-serve ako sa'yo, Lord, maraming salamat. Naka-drive ko yung mga kapatid papunta dito. Lord, maraming salamat. Nakapag-luto kami sa simbahan. Lord, maraming salamat. Nakaawit ako sa very blessed. Doon sa nagpapaawit. Lord, maraming salamat sa music ministry. Lahat ng ginagawa. Every one of us here plays a significant role para sa ating simbahan. Amen. And I'm very happy. Kasi ito, second time ko, Pastor. No? And look at what the Lord has given to us. He's so, He has given us so many things. And yet, anong sabi ng Panginoon? If we follow, if we seek, obey, and serve. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? Dito na po natatapos yung verse. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? If you obey and serve Him. Anong pangako ng Panginoon? You will live your days in prosperity. And in what? In your years in flesh. So, hindi masama na umaman. Hindi masama na umunlad. Lalo na pagkasama mo ang Panginoon. Kasi pag we are serving our Lord, and ayaw ng Panginoon, wala namang kasyanang mahirap eh. Ang sabi ng Panginoon lahat, if you obey and serve me, You will live your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. Kaya nga, sabi dito, we never invest dito sa lupa na ang mga investments na nangangalawang. Dahil ang gusto ng ating Panginoon, we invest sa taas. Kaya ang sabi ng Panginoon, if we obey and serve, we will live our days in prosperity and our years in pleasure. So, in conclusion, yan, salamat pastor, sinabi mo na yung in conclusion. <laughs> Amen! Anong sabi? Now, when we look at the verse Isaiah 60, 22, this is now how we're going to look at it. Dati, nung nagsisimula tayo, akala ko isang mensahe lang na binabasa ng Panginoon. Yung pala, palagsasabi sa atin ng Panginoon, isang verse pa lamang, Lord, Grabe ka. Lord, grabe pala yung revelation mo. So, at the right time means repentance, being patient, trusting our Lord, understanding His purpose. I, the Lord, means the declaration that your God, our God, is El Olam. He is our El Shaddai, our Jehovah Jireh, our Jehovah Rapa, our Jehovah Ra'a, our Jehovah Nisi, our Jehovah Shalom. He is in control. You only need to be still. Because afterwards, what will happen? God's victory and deliverance to all of us. Plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a bright future. And lastly, obey, plus serve, means prosperity and pleasure. So that is Isaiah 60. Amen! Woo! Salamat! 
Thank you, Lord, for you have given us the opportunity to serve you. So let us all stand and pray. Hallelujah. Ama, maraming salamat sa umagang ito. Ama, maraming salamat sa presensya mo. Maraming salamat sa salita mo. Maraming salamat sa ibinahagi mo sa aming revelation. Lord, continue to teach us. Continue to make us humble. Continue to change our heart from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh. Continue to bless us so that we can continue to become a blessing to other people and continue to teach us to serve you. More importantly, Lord, continue to be in control sa buhay na. Tulad ng salita mo sa Isaiah 60.22, Lord. We will do our best. We know we are a work in progress. We know, Lord, at the right time, you have given us the opportunity to do whatever is right. And we know, Lord, with your promises, you will make it happen. And we know, Lord, at the end of it all, you will deliver us, Lord. At alam namin, Panginoon, yan, because you have already given to us our living hope, si Jesus Christ. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pagkakataon nito. Maraming salamat for touching our lives. Tunay nga, Panginoon, ikaw ang number one Amen. sa buhay namin at magpakailan mo. Because we know, Lord, you are the same today, yesterday, and forever. Amen. Maraming salamat, Ama. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.